Hey everybody, and welcome to my 206th official Let's Play, which is Legend of Zelda Janine's new quest for Zelda Classic. This one is brought to us by Janine over on the Armageddon Games Forum. This quest isn't on the Pure ZC database, so if you want to play it, go to ZeldaClassic.com's quest section and get it there. It's another solid, decent length quest that uses the standard Zelda 1 overworld map, but it does look kinda different. You'll see what I mean soon enough. With that being said, let's move. As always, the cave. This wooden sword helps you on your way. And the old man is immune to the splinter stick. Good for you, old man. He must have had a lot of milk when he was a young lad. He's not wasting away in the Stalfos bones. Alrighty, we're going straight to level 1 now. And a forewarning, this quest is going to be much harder than the standard Zelda 1 quest. So as you can see, we have double the amount of enemies in, on each overworld screen. And some of the Octoraki's colors have changed too. We got brown Octoraki's as opposed to red. Now we got brown levers too. But they're still the same old weak levers we remember. Now instead of blue Octoroks, we got green Octoraki's. But there are other versions of Octoroks in this game, you'll find them soon. Yeah, level 1 is still in the same spot. But of course it's a very different dungeon. Well, twice as much enemies it means twice as much money to be made, if I get lucky. Level 1. And the entrance room, we got three keys already. Fun. And they drop money. That is great. To the left, we got Stalfos 1.5, because, well, they move and then stop. Look like they're gonna throw a sword beam, but they don't. So, I dubbed the 1.5. And we get a key. Our first of many, I'm sure. Zelda 2 Temple music for the win. And we got ropes in here. One shot will waste them. Yeah, the music was actually quite low in this quest. I had to up the sound from 152 to 192, so hopefully you guys could hear it pretty well. So, yep, collected our second key. And now we have no choice but to go north. Through here. And space these gorillas as good as we can. I don't want their boomerang in my face. Yay, ripping them apart with my wooden stick. Yay, boomerang and stopwatch, which I didn't need anymore. Stealthos 1.5 are back for more. Yeah, this quest is going to get hella hard real fast. Oh, stun you. And now we go through this locked door. And we got more ropes here. Alright, getting a lot of five drops and a compass. Woo. Now going into this room, we got all keys. Yeah, one black keys and the rest are all uh, blue. So yeah, I cleared that one out. No ringleader either. Okay, this room. Yeah, red lamolas in level one. Never thought I'd see the day. Thank god we haven't seen Patras in level one. I would probably run away from the quest if that was the case. And beware, red light molas will do two hearts of damage if they run into you, so be very careful. Might take a while to kill them, but you know, better safe than sorry. Could be worse, we could be dealing with the blue variants. And they race around like three times as quick. And they do the same amount of damage, which is kind of funny, but... You would think they'd do more. Alright, 15 rubies. Thank you, Mr. Lamola. And we get the map. Push the block. There is something else in here. Power bracelet. You don't want to miss it. And I like that Keesh drop hearts and money in this game. Very convenient. Alright, power croissant. Woot. And the level 1 map is, well, the number 1. 
Expect that number gimmick to continue. Anywho. Oh. I love how he, that Green Green just casually walks up to me and says, Here, eat a boomerang. Die. Give me my heart back. I never said you could have it. Oh. Alright, let's get rid of these Stuffles 1.5s and the Koreas. Yeah, a plethora of different enemies in here, and I just picked up the boss key. Didn't even give it a chance to spawn. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta be very careful in here. Twin Aquamentai. It's gonna get a couple hits and retreat. Yeah, when you notice their mouth open, that's when they're gonna shoot beams, so just keep an eye on their face. Whoa. Could be a bit tricky to get in here. Whoa. Since I got no magic shield, I really have to be careful. Yay, we won. That wasn't too hard. Architator! If you have to use the doorway, don't be afraid to use it. We don't have a magic shield to protect ourselves, so yeah. And that will do it for level 1. Our first Triforce piece collected. And why do we have the healing hearts noise? My hearts are already full! <laughs> that makes no sense. Alright, we're done here. Yeah, unfortunately, it's only going to get tougher. Janine's quest ain't shy about throwing strong enemies at you early. Okay. I guess we can make a beeline for level 2. Unless I want to pick something else up first. Alright, bomb's good. Oh, I could buy the super bombs now if I want. Well, one. Okay, stopwatch that I don't even need. Every time the Octoruckies come back on screen, I'm killing them, because there's that much more chance for money. I'm already over 100, which is amazing. Yes, give me more cash. And scrounge up some more cash, and we'll go in here. Give me the super bomb. Want? Yeah, because when we head towards level two, there'll be a place to use it. Should be dead obvious once you see it. So off we go towards level two. Boy, I hope I'm ready for it. Kinda taking a chance going there very early, but... From all the shops I've come across off-camera, none of them have a magic shield, so... <laughs> I'm gonna be in quite a tight spot. Hopefully I can make back most of my cash and get more super bombs. So I can access more heart container secrets, if so. Yeah, most of the blue levers have been replaced by red, or brown levers in this game's case. Yeah, be careful, the blue levers are a lot fast- oh, they're a they move a little bit faster in this game than the normal blue lever. Which they are now green. And there's our super bomb spot. First, I'm gonna get rid of all the moblins and the Octorakis first. There used to be tektites on the screen, but not anymore. All right, super bomb. This will increase your power. Life power. Yay! Five hearts. Believe it or not, I tried to get the white sword off camera when I had five hearts, but guess what? Not enough. You need more. This game is mean. <laughs> so I'm hoping after level two, we'll have enough to get it. Probably need at least six hearts. That's kind of redonkulous. Anyways, bomb this. Yay, Mr. Moblin's still here with money. Good. And since we're in the area, I'm gonna go see if the blue map is still there. Yes, more cash. Yeah, be careful up here. You got a green Moblin. Kill him. 
Yay, blue map still in the same spot. Always good. Now I can buy medicine if I want to. Might not be a bad idea to invest in some right now. Considering I don't know how long I'll be going without a magic shield. So, what do we got down here? Three Noctorockies and Orange Moblins. Actually, more brownish, but yeah. Give me that money. I want all the monies. Yes, 30 rubies, give me. I might just go back and buy another Super Bomb so I can get another Heart Container. If that first Heart Container was in the same spot as the first quest, I'm sure the other ones have to be. Logic would suggest, anyway. Oh. Hey, you! I didn't tell you you could hit me. Alright, what's over here? Another Ruby Secret? Yes! Yeah, same amount, 10. Oh. And we got twice as many... Oh, God, that Moblin just phased through the bush. He's got phasing powers. Learning some tricks from the whiz robes, I see. I'm gonna go see what's on this uh, one screen over here. I think this is a shop. What kind of shop is it, though? Bomb shop! That's quite convenient. Because I wanted to get another super bomb. Because now I'm gonna go grab another heart container and build my life meter up some more. It will definitely be helpful for level 2. No, I can't do much about that red bush right now, I don't have a candle. So yeah, it pays to do some overworld exploring first. Before you dare even attempt level 2. Whoa, run! Okay, burnable bush there. And hello, second super bomb spot. Well, first I'm gonna get rid of these levers. Okay. Now we're gonna super bomb this thing. Second heart container, I hope? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Gimme, please. Alright, six hearts. Loving my chances now. Well, now that I got a six heart container, I'm kind of wanting to see if I can get that white sword. Before I attempt level. Oh, jeez. Didn't expect you guys to creep up on me here. Alright, well, I had five hearts last time, couldn't get the white sword. I got six. Maybe my luck will change. Alrighty, Roo. Yeah, beam spitting Octorox. And we got levers on this screen that will attack us. Be careful. And you still go up, up, up the hill. And level 5 has been relocated, just in case you're wondering why I'm doing this. This is actually the new home for the White Sword. This sword will double your strike power. And with six hearts, we still can't get it. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, this royally sucks. Well, there's a reason why I'm going to continue. Because if I go left, there's going to be Tech Tyson, and then beyond that, Beam shooting Octorox, which I can't block. And I don't have a magic shield, so I'm not going to bother going through that craziness. Yeah, you got more durable Tektites here. Be careful. Yeah, they only die in two hits, though, so it's not as bad as it might seem. Well, I'll try and get the White Sword again if I once I get seven heart containers. Maybe that'll be enough. We can only pray. Being stuck with this splinter stick for another level is gonna really, really suck kahunas. Oh man, I am making a killing with money, though. Alright, I gotta loop around and go back to level 2 now. With a level 2 region. Uh, da 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 da. Block. And up we go. 
Boy, I hope I survive. I have two more heart containers now, so I'm feeling a bit more comfortable. Level 2, same spot. Here we go. And we're greeted by Keys at the start, like the first dungeon. And we got a, a rather nice blue color here for this dungeon. Oh, right, don't have a candle. Yeah, watch out, you got some bomb ropes. And they will explode, so treat them as bomb chews. Weird thing, though, is when they charge you, they turn into, like, a Gleok head. Very weird. I don't know if Janine the Creator meant for that to happen, but... Yeah, bomb ropes are not very nice. Yeah, I've got standard Gorias now. That's not too hard. Half tile trick, you'll murder them all. And bombs, yes. Uh, let's bomb up here, see if we got anything. No. Alright, next room over, what do we got? More bomb ropes. Yeah, you can set you can set them off with a sword beam. Easy enough. Make sure there's nothing over there. Oh! There was something! Ooh! Oh god, we got all blue gorillas, or green, in this game's case. We got toxic waste gorillas. Or lime gorillas. Yeah, they seem a bit more sporadic with their boomerangs in this game, too. Could just be me, though. I'm guessing we're going to find a candle here. I could be wrong, though. And what item do we have? Okay, it is the candle. Yay! We have the firepower! Okay. And we have a blue flame. That's cute. Okay, now I want to see what the hell's in this dark room. Right, can we, like, push any blocks here, or no? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nope, don't look like it. So, I guess we're going up through the locked door. Alright, got keys, bubbles, and gorillas. Yeah, that red ruby's kind of screaming at me, but, um... Not safe to get it. Just in case the boomerang comes through the door, I better be facing these guys because I don't want to get hit. Oh! Cool. I can swing the sword while I'm in the door. Yeah, be sure to abuse that for all it's worth. Then I got five bombs. That's nice. I got souls in here. Easy enough. Pretty challenging level two so far. Considering the equipment I have. <laughs> Alright, compass. Oh boy, what's up here? Yeah, blue land molas! You're best staying in the doorway to deal with them. Okay, come on, guys. Get over here. I'm gonna rip your eyeballs off. Yeah, there we go. And we have defeated the blue land molas with the help of the doorway. Now we come in here. Oh, we got green snakes! I'm guessing those are rope twos without the explosion. Yes, I guess correctly. So we got three different variants of rope in this dungeon. Eek. Alright, green snakes going bye bye. Now let's go kill this rope one. There we go, fairy, love it. Hmm. Anything here? No. Next room. More green ropes. I can live with this. Flash you guys back, you get stunned. Stun, stun. Yeah, use your boomerang. Don't be afraid of it. And the green snakes are dead, push the block, and now we go up. Whoa, okay. Oh crap. A whole lot of gory- oh, jeez, whoa! Oh, god! Oh, damn! 
Yeah, this room is dangerous. Thank God I bought all these other hearts. Or got all these hearts, though. I just keep stunning and moving. Oh, damn. Whoa. Back crap. Ooh, okay, got a heart back. Feel a little better about my chances. Whew. Could have skipped this room if I wanted to, but, uh... Zoles. And thank God that Zoles and Gels actually drop stuff. Both of them do. More notably, the gels actually drop stuff, and I love this. So while there are some drawbacks to this quest, there are also some positives. <laughs> and I appreciate the positives. Let's see. Bomb up here. Nothing. Okay, we got the bomb ropes again. Okay, good. The explosion doesn't do a whole lot, thankfully. I'm already at 200 rubies, this is nice. Oh, didn't see that guy up there. Alright, is there any other secrets in here? Like another item? I don't know. I feel like there might be something. No? Okay, I guess we're going up. Oh! Oh, poopers. Yeah, I'm getting to the doorway. I'm gonna wait for the snakes to pass through and then I'll hit them with the sword beam. I don't have a magic shield, I gotta take every advantage I have here. Stupid not to. Alright, goodbye, green goobers. I know you're snakes, but I'm calling you goobers. Come on, get over here. Stun. Ooh, stopwatch, good. Immune to everything now. And the map. Yay. And go figure, level 2 is shaped like a well 2. Oh god, ow. Alright. Pick off this blue gorilla. Hey, don't run away. I'm not done with you yet. Okay, fair. Oh, jeez. Oh, damn you. Oh. Okay, I, I gotta retreat. Find a better spot to attack. Yeah, get stunned. Yeah, these Gorias are very nasty still. And they surprise they're in a Gleok block type room too. Well, going up. Okay, be careful. We got legitimate stuffos too in this room. And they're the green version. I'm gonna stun them. Because I don't wanna be sucking on a sword beam right now. Maybe when I get the blue tunic, but not now. Okay. Kill the Stuffos here. 1.5 Zen 2s. Oh god. Now we got both variants of Gorias to deal with. Okay, the brown only do like half, which is not bad. Yay, more cash. Get stunned. All right, magic boomerang. Yes. So now we got the blue candle and the magic boomerang. Now we go left. All righty, nearing the boss. And after level two, we're going to cut it off because, hell, we made pretty good progress for part one. Oh, God. Contact damage is also a heart. Better watch. Yeah, I'm getting over here. <laughs> Can't protect myself from a sword beam if it's flying. I'm gonna stay within the rows here, I'll be safe. Okay, get owned. And we get a boss key, yay. And now, we have three Dodongos. Yeah, much easier boss to deal with than in the last level. Having to deal with Twin Aquamentai without a shield. I need a magic shield badly. Hope I get one soon. Whoop. Didn't line myself up with that Dodongo. There we go. 
And now hopefully with seven hearts I'll be able to get that blessed white sword. Yay! Level two Triforce piece. Two dungeons down, seven to go. And I got a little bit more time to spare, so I'm gonna go grab the white sword, hopefully. And if I still... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get another heart container just in case. And I know where I can get another one, too. Try to fit a little bit more in. Now that I got the power of the red candle, I can burn more stuff. Or the blue candle. What am I saying? Ah, you people know what I mean. Hey, you know what? Let's see if I can maybe get that white sword with the seven hearts. Yeah, I'm making a killing right now. Ah! B mocked the Rockies. Dodge. Dodge the levers. I can't dodge them now because they're in my way. So I will simply remove them from existence. And we just keep going up now. Hey, come back here. I didn't tell you you could play tag with me. Alright, is seven hearts enough? Yes, thank God. Alrighty, on that happy little note acquiring the white sword, we're going to cut it off here, folks. So stay tuned for Let's Play, Legend of Zelda, Janine's new quest for Zelda Classic, Part 2, when I will continue grinding off-camera, getting more money, maybe buy some more equipment, and then we'll head to levels 3 and 4, maybe knock both of them out. Anyway, see you then, peoples!